go over here to the streets of Chicago here, man, where we have the Bulls getting three points at the house versus the L.A. Clippers, laying three points on the road. Money line minus 140 for the L.A. Clippers. You can get back plus 120 if you'd like to go with the Chicago Bulls here at the house. Over and under sitting at 226 and a half in this one, Josh. I believe it come down, was sitting at like 231 last night. The spread has come down five points. Josh, do you agree with this? Uh, do you agree with this line move on the total or you like anything on the spread here? I do agree with the move. I, I got in at 2.30, so I was hoping we would have a similar number for the show. 2.26.5 is kind of closer to where I have it. I have it 2.25.5 as fair price, so very marginal market edge still available there. Uh, but I just think that this is a situation where, especially for the bull side of things, they are playing far better defensively than they are offensively at the minute. And you go and look at a lot of their deeper metrics game to game. Their shot quality numbers are pretty poor. They're not producing high quality looks on offense. They're not going to change that against a Clippers side who is an elite defense when everyone is there and available. And they're pretty much going to have everyone there and available. Um, a couple of questionable tags there for Reggie Jackson, which isn't going to obviously impact them defensively. And for Marcus Morris, who isn't quite the player he was anyway. So I think the Clippers are just going to be able to match up really well with Chicago and slow things down pretty drastically, force them into half-court sets. The flip side is, like I said, the Bulls probably better defensively than a lot of people are giving them credit for at the moment. Uh, the Clippers' offense has been explosive since you know they got both Kawhi and Paul George back on the floor together. That's definitely going to regress a little bit, though, as well. They've been uh, definitely shooting above their means, I think it's fair to say, in a lot of those games and uh, performances. So if we do get a little bit of regression there, and even if we don't, I think this pace of play, uh, coupled with both teams' defenses and abilities to get stops in the half court, should see this one sail pretty comfortably under the number and like I said obviously I'm much happier at 230 um, but I couldn't talk you off to under 226 and a half either given I am already under that number uh, and I like the matchup for both these defenses and it's always great when the line is moving your way, right, Josh? Especially four, four and a half points. It's, a, it's never a bad thing, guys, as well, man. So it's definitely showing that the, the pro betters, total betters are definitely on the under here. Chris, I, me personally, I like the Clippers. I was talking before the show. I do need a haircut, man, with the Clippers as well. But the starting, they're starting to put things together, the Clippers are, in my opinion, man. Uh, five and one straight up, four and two against the spread last six games. Coming off a blowout loss, a throwaway game versus the Cavs as well. And I love taking these bounce back spots when a team – basically just didn't come to play. Um, obviously, with Paul George, Kawhi Leonard in there, it's a whole different story. I like the Clippers in this one as well, and they're also 11-5 against the spread last 16 in Chicago um, as well, man. I think they get it done. Number one offensive rated last five games in this one, Chris. Somewhat same type of teams, but I do think the Clippers are far better defensively um, and should have some success getting to the rim in this one, Chris. You liking the Clippers here as well? I absolutely am. I'm liking the Clippers tonight, and I'm liking Kawhi Leonard to go over his uh, points, assists, and rebounds tonight as well, which is a 30, 38 and a half, I believe. Uh, but I'll just I'll start with the Clippers uh, because it's more about the Clippers than it is the Bulls for me. The Bulls are definitely playing better defense, uh, much better in the mid-range especially, and we know that the Clippers can really kill you in that area. But right now, the Clippers can really kill you from everywhere. I mean, they're very efficient at the rim, very efficient from the mid-range, and even from beyond the arc. This is a team that is just finding ways to score very easily. A lot of that is Kawhi. A lot of that is Paul George, but actually the pairing of Paul George and Zubac uh, the last week or so, 60% field goal percentage, that's number one in the NBA. Number two is Kawhi and Paul George. So, you know, this is just a highly efficient offense right now. Is it going to regress a little bit? Absolutely. But even though the Chicago defense has played better, uh, I just, I don't want to step in front of this Clippers team right now, right? They're just, they're showing us a lot of chemistry. There's not a lot of weaknesses in this team right now. Like, this is the team that we were all, I think, anticipating coming into the season. Now seeing Kawhi play his best basketball, it's like maybe many of us forgot that Kawhi Leonard is one of the best basketball players in the world, and he's certainly showing it. Um, you know, this is a long road trip uh, for the Clippers right now with some tough games coming. I think this is one that they know they can win, right? They have the Bucks upcoming, et cetera. Uh, the Bulls are, are, just, are just inconsistent for me, right? They're just not a team that I can trust. The only weird thing about the Bulls this year is they're actually beating good teams and losing against the poor teams, which is different than how the Bulls were last year. That being said, coming off a road trip, the Bulls' first game back at home, they never really liked that spot for a team. And we talk about a complete team and a team that's playing with this kind of momentum right now. I'll play on the Clippers and I'll play on Kawhi Leonard to keep on going over that PAR. 
Yeah, I couldn't talk you off that. Uh, and the Clippers as well, a team that was really struggling the first basically half of the season. We know that they're a lot better than that. It seems like they're putting together. Um, I might I might be on the Clippers here a lot here in the next coming. May, I mean, not on this road trip, but this is one of the best spots on the road trip. You got Milwaukee, New York, and Nets up on deck as well. So some some hard games here on the on the seven-game road trip, I'll be. But if Clips get back to the house, I'll definitely be riding them for sure. And I'm riding them tonight as well. Uh, give me the Clippers in this one. Uh, minus three. Chris is on Clippers as well. Minus three and Kawhi Leonard uh, PRA over 30 and a half, 38 and a half and my guy Josh is rocking with the total in this one uh, under 226 and a half uh, that's going 4-0 right there my guy